car out, we've come to a fishing pool, we've pulled a chair out. So there you go, <laughs> there's a chair. There we go, another sign coming out. Piece of angle iron. And here he is, the silver fox everybody. Let's get, a, let's get him in his shorts. So welcome Silver Fox. So as you can see guys we've just come to a, a local pool today. Just to come and uh, see what we can pull out. And uh, as you can see, by Nigel's legs there's quite a bit on the first two throws. Oh look at them, Ooh, look at them little white pins Nigel. Woo! <laughs> He'll get a tan on them today guys. He'll get a tan on them today guys, don't worry. <laughs> Fish up, which I nearly put straight through my finger. I only saw it at the last second. Right, I've got that. That's, I think it's probably off the chair to tighten it up or something. Okay, and nice. lighter. Right, I'm going to show I'm going to show people this. Where you Guys, you need to watch what you're doing. You've probably come across some of these before, but look at that. I nearly put that straight through my finger. You can't see them, some, some, some of them are tiny. So just, wear just, your just watch what you're doing. And wear Two bags of gloves. <laughs> I found this one. Ah. For you. Ah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Romantic enough. Don't say that. Never buy them again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Nick's birthday sorted out. Go under the spoon. And some coins. And off the fishing reel. So. I've just pulled the loud hour out, which is best out than in. Uh, another spoon, believe it or not. And a little adjustable spanner. There you go. And as you've probably just heard, I've uh, given. Um, fishing lure to a fisherman that was just sitting next to us so that's upside cold it's quite new so uh, he's had that so all's good so there's a full tin of something there which I'm not going to open <laughs> <laughs> bottom of a tin your general bits of scrap I've got a few got a penny there ten pins and a two pence. I've just found that, guys. I thought it was the uh, to a gun, you know, the pin, but the bolt, should I say? But uh, I don't know. I'll have to check that out, guys. Yeah, all right. Oh yes, I saw you mean like a bolt. Yeah, yeah like the bolt in that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, it's not though. It's some. I know what that is. You know, you know, on like a, a camera tripod. Yeah. And they're adjustable, so that can clip onto the back of the camera or, or something. Yeah. Clip on something. So, and then because that's a ball, the ball sits in a socket and allows uh, you to, you know, move it. So you can. I'm not sure. Guys, I love Nigel <laughs> to bits, but. He loves bursting my bubble. <laughs> I burst his bubble. He's burst my bubble. So that is um, an adjustable, like a gimbal. Isn't it? A, a, it's a it's a thingy. A gimbal. Yeah, gimbal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a proper gimbal. Look. Ah, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> bubble. <laughs> I'm just going to bring the camera up here, guys, a second, because. Uh, Try and get everybody on. Just simmer just on the edge of the frame there. That's some sort of fishing float. Oh, it is, yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm, a bit missing or something. 
some sort of fishing float. Yeah. I know nothing about fishing. And I know nothing about a lot of things, but... Uh, that is a weird fishing float, if it is one. Mm. And that, which is off a sold shovel or something. And another fork. Another piece of cutlery. Some, some women like to back in the day. Back right, in the you day. Scared me a little bit. It's got a knife. Some people like splinters. And that scared me a little oh. bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just an handle. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody's been. Uh, Swimming in there, look. Yeah, somebody's part of somebody's swimming goggle. More scrap. And another tin of sweet corn. Some more monies. I don't know why, but I'm just not expecting money in a fishing pool for some reason. Go on then, burst my bubble with that then, because I have no clue what that is. A modern radiator key. Is, it? is that what it is? I think so. It's got the square end on it. Oh, okay. oh no, I'll tell you what that is. It's oh, a, yes. it's the lever off a fishing reel. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, like, the yeah. Tight, like the tightener. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, I'm going to get one of them. Come on guys, a battery in a fishing pool, really? And another fishing seat. That's the second one now. them <laughs> and whatever that is Crowbar, which I'm happy with. And then again, don't know how it ends up like on it. But yeah, crowbar. That's been in there some time by the looks of it. 
But yeah, scooter. That's similar to, That's similar to like the one I found earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, that's that a all light. there. It, it probably glows at night. Yeah. yeah. Little night light, yeah. like a night cloud. I mean, none of us know anything about fishing, do we? But, but, yeah. There's only one fishing I know about, and that's magnet fishing. Oh, it's like a little clip. Oh, yeah, so we clip onto the line. You take a little battery and it lights up, I think, and float. Yeah. Mm. It's a night fishing float. Just got a, like a night fishing float. No, no. Yeah. That's a first, another first, another one. I've, I've pulled um, like a little cage that they put the bait in. Yes. I've pulled it up, it's in my tub right now. I'm going to chuck it to the bloke when he's done, when I'm done. It's like a little... Uh, Baiting cage. Yeah, let's it out slowly. Yeah. It's a bit slippy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, another one out. Yeah, keep them, them uh, fishing for the weight on them as well, look. Yes. There you go, so it's actually a second one, Marie just pulled that one out. I pulled one out around there, which I'll show you later. But we are just giving all the fishing stuff to the guys that are fishing around there. Is that one? So, Yes, that's another one. Little baiting cages, I think they call them. You'll, you'll, you'll tell me if I'm wrong. Yes. There's another one. Oh, we've got a square, square one. Square, square and round. That's a posh one. Posh one, oh. There you go, so we've got a square one and a round one. And there's another, I think it's a square one I've got. So yeah, they're worth keeping and giving to the fishing blokes. Knife. I'm going to watch these kitchen knives because last time I pulled one out, it was actually a lot knife. So yeah, that's okay. Knife and the end of a knife. I've just found a knife and an old car jack. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Bit of scrap. They got a fishing chair. Shock horror. Some more fishing tins. Big piece of scaff. And then another fishing tin. And a chav can. More twos and ones. Another fishing chair. Been one of these for a while. See it? See that? DVLA wheel front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. They've took the pound out. <laughs> We got the nails going to a fire hydrant.
thin piece of tube, oh. which I thought was a Vigals at first. Another fishing tin. Oh. A knife. Piece of magnetic rock which can go back in. And just your average scrap and a penny. Move it your way now so he can show you all fine. Anyway, now he's showed you all them tiny little things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, trust me, the nearest road is about 200 yards that way, so somebody has dragged this thing down here and thrown it in the water. Oh, I would rather have the fight. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of weight, that is. Oh, I've got some weight in them, especially yeah, when you're pulling them around in the water. Well, this one's a bit unusual because it seems to have this sort of reinforcement around it. Sort of an extra strong one. <laughs> Oh, right, I'll take that back over there. No, knocking the camera over. So we've been round uh, four points of the pool, guys. Believe it or not. And it's only this bit where Marie's been standing that, that's paid anything off. So yeah, I found a little lot spot. Dump, dumping spot. Oh, I found a little mini one of them. Look. Cool. Yeah, little mini one. Hey. Piece of art. <laughs> Piece of anglion. And more bits of fishing tin. You would never have thought it. Oh. <laughs> a bit of variation here. So I've got some more remains of a traffic sign. More angle iron. But my best find of the day so far is my new garden fork. So there you go. So if you lost your garden fork, I've got it. Another piece of bar, another fishing tin, and another knife. Is this real spare or you can have them, mate. Yeah, the money yeah, could have yeah. gone to scrap. Show them on the camera. Hang on a minute, let me do me medieval segue. You, do you want any? Um... Yeah, guys. Oh, you're like, oh, oh. Yeah, not as good probably. at balancing as he used to be. Mate. Well, anyway, yeah. medieval segue before they started putting motors on it. There's another one in my box round there. I'll go and get it for you in a second. It's another square one. Robot. Do you need them wheels? No, I don't need a crowbar. Oh, well, that's good for fishing. You want the crowbar? No. Oh, you can have the seats before the bed. Do we need the wheels? That's pretty thick. It's not as bad as they look, actually. That's the bar. Here's to be pretty solid. Are you going to use them for? I'm going to try them. Just a trolley. Fishing trolley. Well, they'd be really good. <laughs> really, really good. Fishing chair. <laughs> so the wheels and some feeders. Brilliant. So it's been, it's been upcycled. So this guy's having a lot of the stuff that we found. Well, not a lot. <laughs> Some of it. M more than what we had out. <laughs> you want the address soon and dump it all in the garden. They <laughs> <laughs> don't go as far as two of them, do they? <laughs> Found a little waste. Yeah, we document everything we get. Every little thing we get, we document it. So yeah, right. mate. That's that. Got three yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so before the fishermen go, we've just found that. 
And they're going to see whether they want that one as well. This one any good, lads? Before you go. I'm presuming it's the same kind of thing. Part of a, an old fishing umbrella there, look. Going by the spike on that. There's the other part of the umbrella, there's the spokes for it, look. And guys, if you are debating on what magnet to have next, definitely the Evo, uh, in my eyes. Um, we're on no magnets anyway, so I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, they're just pulling everything up that we missed previous years, so um, they're doing us a favour, and they're getting all the rubbish out the canals that we missed before. So, big thumbs up to the Evo. Gotta say it. Right guys, so um, as looks at it, we've dragged a pool and um, believe it or not, this is the, bro the, the brother to the bloke who's gonna be running the pool and he's a scrap man. So <laughs> all our scrap's gone, just for the people that don't think, believe we take the scrap. Here's the man, we've now got his card and we're out to do business with each other in the future. So, brilliant. Cheers mate. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now what is it all? Strong, man. We've moved to a canal and uh, 16 pence, there you go. Water bike out. Quite a newish one, but got no wheels or anything. Is that one of your bucket finds, Nigel? <laughs> yeah. It's on my bucket list, but I'm, I'm really cleaning up now, to be fair. <laughs> See, these two always like to make a big splash in the fishing community. The mop to go with me bookies. The mop. Oh, Here we go. Mrs. Mop. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a full set now. We're going to start a new cleaning business now, aren't we, mate? <laughs> Put a mop up on the job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
clean ones only. <laughs> There's an old uh, door lock there and that. And another couple of pennies. Pair of old pliers and a bit of a scooter, maybe. <laughs> right, Matt, I found your paint. Any ideas guys? Uh, I thought it was forks or something but it's got Ralph all entangled in it which is fed through there so I have no clue and it's his final attempt at six foot ten nearly went in pole position with that mate <laughs> I got another one Oh, you're going to have on your pipe, right? I know, yeah. Selection of, uh, looks like DVDs for com a computer. For emails DVDs and everything. CDs, then. Eh? CD wrong? Oh, yeah. no. I've got a seized wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel's found a scooter. I've seized everything. <laughs> yeah. Get it over, Nigel. It's going. Hello. Are there any moxie girls out there? <laughs> I prefer unicorns. <laughs> Wee! It's the sun, yeah. Let's blame the sun. There we go, some kind of pressure uh, gauge there guys, there you go, and pity I didn't find the other bit of it, but there you go, some kind of an arm made knife, there you go. And a monkey bar. Ooh, you got? Oh, to an old rake. Oh, look how thick that is. Wow. Catch box. And there's the handle off an old lantern. Yeah, gun lighter. There we go, guys. The nearest thing to a gun today. Gun lighter. So I'll clean that up. Yee. Oh, there you go. Hang on, I'm coming. What the hell is that? I think it's a bloody mixture. Oh, it's Christmas lights. 
You just had a Christmas, didn't, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Completely by chance. I said, uh, oh, it's Christmas. Oh, it's a little Christmas characters there, look. Oh, oh look, it's a... Uh, in the garden. Um, oh, what they're called? Ponty points. Now the uh, upsy daisy. Look. Yeah. But oh yeah, now these in the ponty points. What? Out in the night garden. I have no clue what you're talking. They're about. not the it's different language. Oh, that's upsy daisy, I think. <laughs> it's a program that was on with my lads was little. Oh, right. oh dear. Well, that's that's a basic rollers. <laughs> it's like a selection of things, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I am, I am two. Oh, you was two. Not two now. Not two now, because your mum's chucked it all in the cut. <laughs> Probably been robbed, hasn't he, by luxury? It's, it's somebody's bits tray, isn't it? We've all got one in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, I am two again. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Just shows you, always open the tins. Adjustable spanner. You can tell Marie never uses the tools. DT cash box. Some kind of a weird old accent there. Right. So I've had a few things off my bucket list today but in addition to that I've stapled it wrenched it and been arrested and there you go for all of you guys who are still old school with the old with the old beast it still works still the best You know Switzerland ain't very big. Yeah. So this has got to be like a Luxembourg army knife. Look oh God, yeah. yeah. That is China. I love it. Hang on, let's come around here and show you guys. That has got to be the smallest lock knife I have ever seen. Not lock knife, pen knife. That's mad. Peaky dippers, and uh, we went out with the silver fox on our own, didn't we? We did. Me, Marie, and the silver fox. Like a little sneaky little dip in the week. Mm. Well, we was going to test his pool for the outcast family to attack, but lots come out, but nothing brilliant. So uh, I've got lots of little forest to show you. So uh, yeah, um, it was just like in the in the week kind of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, had yeah. a li little. Uh investigation yeah the kids was a school me and marie was sitting there was doing nothing instead of marie wanting me all to herself she says let's go magnet fishing <laughs> such as life so anyway got some finds we'll uh show you through them so uh pulled out uh some clocks to a motorbike didn't we this yeah well we've got a bit of a lake and a canal here guys so you'll see by the video these was pulled out to the canal and the motorbike clocks um, and again, like, as I keep saying, and it will come true, all these little things I'm going to use for different stuff. You're going to so write a collection in the garden. I'm going to write a collection. It looks like a scrap behind in my garden. But you have now got a welder. Yes, thanks to Rusty Nut Steve, I've now got a welder. So, uh, sculptures galore, watch his space. Keep saying, watch his space. It will happen. It will happen. Anyway, uh, I'll get rid of the boring twos and ones, there you go. All the twos and ones from that day. Whether there was out the lake or the canal. Um, I try and get mixed up because I know we had a bit of both. We had a lake and a canal that day. I'll just show you the forest as they are. Found a pair of handcuffs. They're these. Was these out the lake? 
Um, no, they was at the canal. But they seem a bit, they're not toy ones, because they seem very solid. So I would like to clean them up a lot more and see if I can get some lettering off these. Perhaps some old police ones from before the, you know, the uh, safety ones come into Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps from when I was a kid and you was a kid, Mara. Um, we got knife, knife, bear in mind it was a fishing pool guys, knife, knife, so um, there was blood on these and I can safely say I think somebody had been cutting the carp open on the, uh, on the lake or the fish, so yeah, it's not urine blood. Not from a DNA tester, but it's not. I can't see it being human blood. Normal knife, two pairs of scissors, a lure. But we, I found this after we left the lake, I believe, because I gave loads of lures and bait cages, uh, bait feeders to the fishermen that were there, and that was over the moon, wasn't that? There was, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you something else about the lake in a minute, guys. Probably got on video anyway, I believe, or a few photos. No screwdriver, that is going to be no good for nothing. There you go, it's been hit up by the water. So that's scrap. We've got a spoon. A spoon. <laughs> a spoon. And a spoon. We've got a fork. A fork. And a fork. I found a gun in the canal it's a little gun lighter bang bang but uh yeah gone past ever using <laughs> that i'm afraid but yeah it'd be nice to find all that complete i remember you could get the gun lighters back in the day i think my granddad had one actually mm. and the the, the, the this, light is quite, this is like a modern gun really mm. this my granddad had an old one and, and, and it used to come out the end the light did you know the flame we got a. Uh, that off a fishing reel, bit land up. Just brought it back to show you guys, never to be used for anything. Got an old car jack thing. <laughs> there we go. Fit to call it the crank handle. So, as you can see, that's gone past it. It's all been hit at. Oh, yeah. That'd be no good for nothing there. But we're bringing it back to show. We had one. Two and the daddy. Three hmm. of the adjustable spanners. Small, medium, and large. In the lake? No, was it in the lake? It was either in the lake or the canal. Oh, what, most of this was in the lake, so you know, just bear that in mind. In a lake, in the middle of nowhere. Um, Marie found. I little, love it, I love it. Little Swiss Army knife what? thing. There you go. You can see how big that is, look, it's tiny. Look at this one, I, I think I see. I might carry that around with me, actually. Why? You know, it comes in out, it's got a bottle opener on. A lighter? No. Marie found in the lake a little, uh, I think it's a night fishing float. Because if you undo this, it has got batteries, or did have. There we go. Well, if it still works. Mm, don't know. Well, you would have thought it's water resistant, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd have thought so. Marie's blonde moment there, guys. I'm glad you witnessed that. <laughs> we should have put a battery in that, you know, and tried it. <laughs> this is the same woman that said, uh, oh. Do you paint yachts with yacht varnish? But that's a different story. We found a couple of keys. There we go, unusual ones. Oh yeah. Mm. Cylindrical. A big peg. Oh, I would all string you up with that. I wouldn't know why that. Tie me up. <laughs> From the end, end of a trowel. Yep. Don't let me go down. I remember. When our children was little. That is Upsy Daisy, and that is, is that your guppy gull? 
Uh, no, 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 no. I think that might be one of the ponty points. They're not ponty points. We had this debate on the day. The, the ponty points are little tiny soldier things. That's whoopsie daisy. Eh? And that's the other one. No, because it, it was like a packer. Upsa daisy. And eagle piggle. That's eagle piggle then. No, that's not eagle piggle. Well, we that's not a ponty is. point. I bet everybody will agree with me. Well, I can't think of who it is then. Who's that one, guys, out of the night garden? I know that's upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. That one. I can't see it being a ponty point. The ponty point's little soldiers. Anyway. 40 and 47, and we're talking about the blue. How <laughs> dare you tell my age? <laughs> Toy boy. <laughs> um, found this, guys. Now, this is. Um, First time I found one like this, I know it's some kind of a, a pick. So there's the sharp end, and there's the hitting end. I haven't seen one like that before. No. Uh, obviously the wooden handles missed off it, but if you can tell me what trade that was for, guys, because um, you've got your blunt end and your sharp end, I know with the coal ones, they're both, I think they're both that, like that. So let me know, guys, what you think. And we did have a garden fork, which I've had to use in the garden, so that's being upcycled already. You saw the garden fork. Um, as you'll see on the video, well, I, think, I hope Marie's put the photos on the video. Yes, I have. The video is on of the scrap Yes, man. we have got, um, uh, we went to the lake. The lake is changing hands. And the man who owns, well, he's going to own the lake, came along to see what he was doing. And uh, we told him what we was doing. He was over the moon, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, it might be a future venture because uh, there's a lot more to be pulled out, apparently. And we're going to take a lot of people to go and clean that out, if it works out the way we want it to. Um, that'll then clean up the lake for the man, that's got because he's got good fish in it. And it'll also feed the scrap man, which is his brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it'll sort the scrap man out financially and it gets us magnet fishing. Um, we have actually got his phone number uh, now on a card as you'll see. So he's now going to be the scrap man for Peaky Dippers local. Yeah. Peaky Dippers outcast. If we could be all over end of the country. So I can't rely on a scrap man in this area coming all the way down to wherever. So our local scrap man, Birmingham the Black Country will be that guy there and a uh, really nice chap so just nice to have somebody it's a phone call away isn't it yeah definitely. no excuse to leave the rubbish some have let us down in the past by accident it happens you know it happens to the best of us so let's go on dippers and scrappers guys have a look at them on facebook rob evecock shift just scrap and uh yeah that's it really it was a good day and i think the silver fox enjoyed it yeah so, um, enjoy guys, um, like, subscribe to me, like, subscribe to Peaky Dippers, and uh, shall see you on the next adventure, I'm just hoping I've said everything I need to say, and I've got now a list of shout outs, so, yeah, <laughs> have a good one.